Is there life on Mars? Could humans bring life to Mars? What was Mars in the past? Does Mars have life below Earth? We humans have long been fascinated by these questions. In 1895, astronomer Percival Lowell mistakenly documented what he believed were a series of artificial canals crisscrossing the planet. The idea that our neighboring planet might be home to intelligent beings captured imaginations around the world and spurred numerous visions of Mars, some peaceful and others malevolent. Fast forward to the present day when humans have sent more spacecraft to study Mars than any other planet beyond Earth. To this day, there is no evidence of life on Mars, but the search hasn't stopped. Just as life itself evolves, so too have the ways we look for it. Today, the red planet is still a prime target in the search for life. Today, Mars is a wasteland. It's a dusty desert, rough and pockmarked with craters. There's no apparent life on its surface. But over the past decades, scientists have found evidence of a lost Mars, one that looked a lot more like Earth than like a hellhole. NASA astrobiologist Lindsay Hayes says, You can see evidence of what Mars was like 4 billion years ago. Etched into its rocky surface, you see things like the remnants of a huge river delta. You see evidence of past lakes. That gets the imagination going. There may have been clouds in the atmosphere. The surface would have been absolutely beautiful. Past missions to Mars, including with robotic rovers, landers, and orbiters, have added on the ground evidence that this watery past is very likely. Where there was water, there could have been life. One of the universal features that we see of life is that it needs water. What was Mars in the past? Mars wasn't always this inhospitable to life. We think Mars once had a molten core that generated a magnetic field. This, in turn, protected the surface from radiation and supported a thicker atmosphere that kept the planet warm. There is also strong evidence that between 3 and 4 billion years ago, Mars had water on its surface. We can see valleys carved by rivers, pebbles that formed in streams, and piles of sediment that could have come from basins and deltas. Under these conditions, life could have been possible. About 3 billion years ago, Mars lost its protective magnetic field. Solar radiation stripped off most of the planet's atmosphere. The liquid water disappeared, and Mars turned into the cold, dry desert. Despite having the same raw ingredients as early Earth and similar watery conditions, the necessary circumstances that enable life to form simply never occurred on Mars. All the geological and chemical processes that occur inorganically still happened, but nothing organic. Then, a little more than 3 billion years ago, Mars's atmosphere was stripped away by the sun, drying up any liquid surface water and leading to Mars's current appearance. This is the most conservative stance and would require that all three of the purported positive tests have either an inorganic or contamination-based resolution. This is eminently possible and remains, in the mind of many, the default assumption. Until some very compelling evidence comes along that robustly points to either past or present life on Mars, this will likely remain the leading hypothesis. Is there life on Mars? While there isn't any evidence of current life on Mars, some has been found that implies life could once have existed on the planet. This course will guide you through the evidence for past water on Mars and how this could suggest, along with other findings, there was once life on the red planet. You'll also take a broader look at the elements needed for life to thrive before examining the physical limits to life existing on Mars, such as radiation, pH, and of course, water. There is a slim chance that microbial life exists on Mars today, perhaps under the planet's ice caps or in subsurface lakes detected by spacecraft like the European Space Agency's Mars Express. Locations like these could protect life from the harsh conditions on the planet's surface. Because the kind of life that we think could exist on Mars today is microbial, it wouldn't be spotted by the cameras of an orbiting spacecraft. Instead, there are ways we could detect it indirectly through chemical signatures linked to life called biosignatures. Could humans bring life to Mars? When sending spacecraft to Mars to look for signs of life, it's extremely important to make sure we don't bring microbes along with us. Even though it takes months for a spacecraft to travel to Mars, hardy microorganisms could potentially survive the journey. 
Every mission that lands on Mars must be thoroughly sterilized before it leaves Earth. Otherwise, instruments looking for signs of life might be fooled by life that came along with the spacecraft. Even worse, there is a slim but real possibility that Earthling microbes could survive and thrive on Mars, potentially interfering with any life forms that might already exist there. Our modern space program spread Earth-based life to Mars. And finally, perhaps Mars truly was a barren, lifeless planet, at least for billions of years, until the dawn of the space age. Perhaps spaceborne materials that weren't 100% decontaminated or sterilized landed on the Martian surface, bringing modern Earth organisms with them as stowaways. It's the ultimate nightmare of astrobiologists that there's a fascinating history of life to uncover on another world, but we'll contaminate it with our own organisms before we ever learn the true history of life on that world. In the worst case scenario, it could be the case that was surviving simple life on Mars of Martian origin but that Earth life arrived and outcompeted it, driving it to a rapid extinction. The risk of contaminating Mars with Earthling microbes becomes even greater when considering future human missions to Mars. Human bodies are teeming with microbes, and it would be nearly impossible to contain them within a crude Martian outpost. NASA, international space agencies, and private companies must work together to create planetary protection guidelines that balance the benefits of human exploration with the risk of contamination. It is possible that life originated on Earth and seeded Mars with life. It's possible that life originated on Mars and then seeded Earth. It's even possible that life predated both Earth and Mars, and early forms of it took hold on both planets. Is living on Mars a good idea? As the world progresses and technological advancements continue to reach new heights, there is a growing interest in exploring the possibilities of life beyond Earth. One of the most talked about topics in recent times is the idea of living on Mars. With NASA and other private companies already in the process of planning missions to the Red Planet, the question arises, is living on Mars a good idea? In this video, we will delve deep into the pros and cons of living on Mars and discuss whether it is a viable option for the human race. The Pros of Living on Mars Potential for Scientific Discoveries Mars is one of the most studied planets in our solar system, with several missions already conducted by space agencies. However, there is still much that we do not know about this planet. Living on Mars would provide scientists with a unique opportunity to study the planet up close and conduct experiments to learn more about its geology, atmosphere, and potential for harboring life. Expansion of Human Civilization As the world's population continues to grow, living space on Earth is becoming increasingly scarce. The idea of colonizing Mars would provide humans with a new frontier, enabling the expansion of civilization beyond the boundaries of our planet. Resource Availability Mars has abundant resources such as water, which can be extracted from the Martian soil. In addition, the planet has an abundance of minerals and other elements that could be mined for use in space exploration and other industries. By colonizing Mars, humans would gain access to these resources, which could help advance technology and improve life on Earth. Opportunity for Technological Advancements Living on Mars would require a significant amount of technological advancements in areas such as space travel, life support systems, and communication. These advancements could have significant applications beyond Mars, improving our technology and infrastructure on Earth. Backup Plan for Earth As we continue to face threats such as climate change, overpopulation, and natural disasters, the idea of having a backup plan for the human race becomes more appealing. Colonizing Mars could provide a refuge for humanity, ensuring the survival of our species in the face of catastrophic events. The Cons of Living on Mars High Cost One of the biggest hurdles to colonizing Mars is the high cost associated with such a mission. The development of the technology required for such a mission is expensive and the cost of transporting humans and supplies to Mars is also high. This cost could be a significant barrier to making Mars colonization a reality. Harsh Living Conditions Living on Mars would be a challenge due to the harsh living conditions. The planet has extreme temperature variations, with temperatures dropping to minus 80 degrees Celsius at night. In addition, 
the planet's atmosphere is thin, and there is no magnetic field to protect against harmful radiation. These conditions would make living on Mars a difficult and potentially dangerous proposition. Health Risks Living on Mars could pose significant health risks for humans. The prolonged exposure to low gravity, radiation, and the harsh living conditions could have a negative impact on human health. Astronauts who have spent extended periods of time on the International Space Station have already experienced some of these health risks, and living on Mars would only intensify them. Limited Resources While Mars does have abundant resources, the initial settlement would still have to rely heavily on resources brought from Earth. It would take time to develop the infrastructure required to extract and use Martian resources, which could pose a significant challenge for early settlers. Isolation Living on Mars would be a solitary experience, with settlers cut off from the rest of the world. Communication with Earth would also be limited due to the distance and the time it takes for signals to travel between the two planets. The isolation and lack of social interaction could have a negative impact. That's all in this video. If you like the information, please hit like and subscribe to this channel and be connected to this channel for more space information.